thank you for coming back and thank you for your support if you are a returning subscriber but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell so that you can be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video I promise you you will enjoy every content that I upload so dear friends in our today's video it is a continuation of the last video that I did where I talked of what to expect when you come across men from these countries and in that video I discussed of Italian men but I had wanted to talk also about Polish men. I promised you that I'm going to be continuing telling you about Polish men. So in our today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what to expect when you come across a Polish man on online dating apps or even in real life. But not only that guys, cause today I'm also going to be sharing with you what to expect when you come across men from Australia, Australian men on online dating apps or even in real life. So guys, pick your popcorns, a glass of water, a glass of wine, anything that will keep you company, just pick it, sit down and enjoy this video because you are going to learn a lot of things guys. I promise you this. So dear friends, before we jump into our today's video, I just want to assure you that Everything that I'm going to be sharing in this video, I have done enough research. I have gone around to talk to different ladies that have been living in those countries for a long period of time. Some are married guys for a long period of time to their husbands from those countries. What I'm going to be sharing with you guys, it is a real experience because some of those ladies have met those men on online dating apps and even in real life. A disclaimer, I am doing this video for us to have fun, have life experience and to help you who is coming from a different continent, a different country and you are interested in these men to know what to expect. Yes, I am doing a generalized video because an Australian man will be totally different from a Polish man when you date them, the way they behave, the way they do things, and it's because they have different culture, different traditions, and the way of their doing their things. Yes, guys. So without wasting much of your time, let us start our video right now. You know, guys, you will ask yourself this question. Is it normal to see a couple of a Polish man and a black man? How is it like? So guys, if I start like talking so much about this, the video won't even end. <laughs> but what I want to tell you, if you're on online dating apps, you are searching for a white man and you come across a Polish man, don't worry about that. So with Polish men, yes, he will be interested in a black lady. And when you live there, you will get those strange looks cause they are still closed, not all that open to interracial couples, especially black women or black people. Number one thing that you need to know or what to expect when you come across a Polish man on online dating apps or even in real life, you should know these ladies. Polish men are serious men. They are committed. When it comes to a relationship, they are really, really serious. It is very rare to find a Polish man who will play games with you. Though guys, everywhere exist good and bad people. But in general guys, Polish men don't play games when it comes to relationships. So if you start chatting with a Polish man on online dating apps and he seems interested in you, you know that it will get serious because they are serious men. I have an example of a lady. She was chatting with someone from Sweden and this guy, I think I told you this story. This guy told this lady that I want to come to Africa, but when I come, you pay for my hotel. We have to share the bills. So after talking to this lady, eventually she decided to dump this guy. So guys, she decided to go back to the dating sites cause she did not want to give up on online dating apps give up on her dreams so she started chatting with another guy from Poland and guys within two months this Polish man was really serious 
to start something serious with this girl whereby he planned to meet this girl and went to Africa, met the girl and right now guys the girl is on the process of also going to Poland visit this guy because the guy has invited her too to Poland so you can see how Polish men are serious and not only that girl guys I have a lot of examples due to the experience that I have helping ladies who are dating Polish men Polish men are very very serious majority of them number two is very connected to number one Polish men are family people they are very responsible and that is why I told you guys when you start chatting with a Polish man on online dating apps or even in real life you meet him he is interested in you you start dating this man's plans will be starting a family with you and settle down because they are responsible Number three that you need to know about men from Poland or Polish men, if you come across them on online dating apps or even in real life, you should know this. Polish men are so down to earth, guys. They are very well mannered. They are so loving, very caring, so kind, human, and they like to help. For a Polish man to help his girlfriend or other people out there makes him very happy and so proud because that's their nature guys and who wouldn't want to date a Polish man or such kind of a man? <laughs> So that is how majority of Polish men are. Though guys, I'm going to repeat, everywhere has got good and bad people, especially how someone grew up. But in general guys, when I generalize, all the big percentage of Polish men, they are very, very kind, loving, and they like to help. Number four guys that you need to know about Polish men, they are very punctual people, they go with time. So if you start chatting with a Polish man and things get very serious, make an appointment to meet, make sure you arrive in time because they are punctual people, they go with time. <laughs> Unlike some men from some countries <laughs> that I'm going to be sharing in my next video, they don't care about time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just go with the flow. <laughs> Number five that you need to know about Polish men, they don't talk a lot. So if you're on online dating apps and you're chatting to a Polish man, <laughs> don't worry if you start seeing him not talking a lot. Again, sometimes it might be even due to language barrier because in Poland they use Polish. <laughs> So maybe that man that you're chatting to might not be speaking good English. Maybe he's shy to talk to you, but in general, they don't talk a lot. But they will show you actions when they are in love with you, which is very, very good, guys, because I would want to see the actions more than words. <laughs> I've been singing, please, even if a man comes with so much beautiful words, because any man can tell you beautiful words but what matters is the actions so with polish men they don't talk a lot but they do actions when they're in love with you they show you actions <laughs> that i love you <laughs> Number six that you need to know about Polish men when you come across a Polish man on online dating apps or even in real life, you should know this guys. Polish men go very fast in a relationship. Again, I have told you that they are so serious when it comes to a relationship. They are not there to play games. Majority of them just want to get into a relationship and make it serious. When you start chatting on online dating apps and you start seeing him going very, very fast, don't get scared and be like, no, 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 no. This is too good to be true. This guy might be a liar. This might be a red flag. No, guys, it's not a red flag. It's how they are. They are so fast in a relationship when they fall in love with you. They want to make it serious fast and get married. Number seven, about Polish men, when you come across a Polish man on online dating apps or even in real life, you should know this. Polish men marry at the young age, 25 to 35. 
This reminds me, there is a day I sat here and I told you guys that most white men, the age starting from 25 to 35, they are not serious in a relationship. And I'm going to correct myself here so that guys, I don't mislead you. <laughs> Because I didn't know, I didn't know this about Polish men. That is why I'm telling you guys, you can't say all white men are the same. <laughs> Every country, there is a way they do things. <laughs> so with Polish men, guys, you can find a Polish man at the age of 25 to 35 who is ready to settle down because Polish men marry at the young age. So I hope I'm clear on that. If you've watched that video that I told you, most white men, age starting from 25 to 35, they are not that serious in a relationship because <laughs> they still wanna play around. Yes, some men from some countries, I'm going to be sharing them guys here, yes. <laughs> so that you can relate to that video where I talked of that. But with a Polish man, guys, they marry at the young age. They tend to settle down at the young age. So, my dear beautiful ladies, if you're on online dating apps, searching for a white man, searching for a relationship, and you come across a Polish man, please don't ignore him and say, Bella told us that if a man age starts from 25 to 35, he is not serious, especially this white man. <laughs> then you leave this man who could have been a husband material. <laughs> Don't ignore him. Please give him the attention and see how it will go. Because Polish men marry at their young age. Number eight that you need to know about Polish men when you come across them on online dating apps or even in real life. You should know this guys, Polish men are so kind like I said, so they appreciate a kind gesture. Is it gesture? Is it gesture? <laughs> English guys, yes. An action of kind. When you do kind to them, when you become kind with them, they really appreciate. When you be kind to them, they really appreciate. And this shows that they are human. Also guys, something else you need to know about Polish men, when they invite you, let's say, for dinner or you're in a, or another continent, then you have this Polish boyfriend, he invites you in his country, please try to come with some gifts <laughs> because they appreciate when you are kind to them and you bringing some gifts to them means that you are kind and you care so guys please play your cards very well polish men are not like swedish men if you remember guys swedish men don't like to be given gifts because they think that it's the wastage of money <laughs> yes i think i told you about this so polish men are totally different when you bring some gifts to them, they will really appreciate. So don't worry. <laughs> Just be kind and nice to them. Everything will be fine. Your relationship will be strengthened. Number nine that you need to know about Polish men or men from Poland, if you come across them on online dating apps or even in real life, you should know this. Majority of them, though not all, but the majority, they are so, so good at DIYs. Do it yourself. <laughs> Fixing things around the house, painting. And guys, this reminds me of a story. Story time. <laughs> so there is this African lady who was chatting with a guy from Poland on online dating apps. And I was helping this lady. So that is why I know this story. She's even here watching. <laughs> yeah. So she was chatting with this guy and sometimes you could tell the girl that today I am painting my house. <laughs> so this girl was like, this is so strange. Why is this man can't call someone to come and paint for him the house? Why can't he call someone to fix some things around his house? I think this guy is very stingy or if he's not stingy, then I'm not sure about his financial status. <laughs> 
<laughs> he might be unstable but guys because i have exposure about life i told the girl you know what it's not that he is stingy not at all <laughs> white men like to do things for themselves if he knows how to fix something then why call someone unlike us black people guys <laughs> A thing might be small, but you will call someone to help you <laughs> fix it. <laughs> yes, and I think it's that because in Africa, there is cheap labor. I'm not here to offend anyone, but that's the reality, guys. In Africa, there is cheap labor. Even if a man is capable of fixing something around the house, but if he has got money, <laughs> some money, to pay someone to do it for him he will pay that person and be fixed because of cheap labor in europe guys there is no cheap labor <laughs> so if you know how to paint your house if you know how to paint your house very well and you have got time why should you pay someone a lot of money to paint that house for you <laughs> there is no need for that so that is how it is so with polish men they are so good at fixing things around the house, DIYs, but this is not only Polish men, guys. Most white men know how to fix things around the house. They like to do things for themselves. Unless he doesn't know how to do that thing, then he will decide to pay someone who is so professional in that thing and do it for him. But if he knows how to do it, he will do it by himself. Yes, guys. Number 10 about Polish men, they smoke a lot. <laughs> they like smoking and when they get angry, <laughs> if a fight happens between you and your Polish guy, <laughs> that day he's gonna smoke a lot. They really smoke. And if you're a lady who is like, I don't want a guy who smokes, <laughs> then my dear, when you start chatting with your Polish guy, ask him at the beginning of your relationship, do you smoke? Because most Polish men do smoke. <laughs> Number 11 about Polish men, if you start dating a Polish man, you met him on online dating apps or even in real life, things are getting serious please try to learn polish language yes it's so so important because in poland they use polish try to learn the language try to know about the history of poland it's really really good guys this will help you in two ways at least <laughs> First of it, this man will see that you are very interested in him. That is why you have decided to learn his language. You have decided to go and get to know the history of his country because Polish men love their country and they're so proud of it. They love their history. <laughs> so this will make this Polish man fall in love with you be more <laughs> number two it is just to help you guys when you relocate to poland you are able to communicate and at least you know the history so country number two which is australia yes guys how are australian men how is it like to date an australian man <laughs> and like i said guys i've done enough research i've talked to ladies who have met the australian men on online dating apps afro introduction f dating dating <laughs> sites these ladies have met their australian men and some just met them in real life so i've done enough research too about australian men so what do you need to know what to expect when you date an australian man so guys is it normal to see a black woman with an australian man in australia interracial couple yes it is very normal no one is going to give you strange looks because australia as a country has got a lot a lot of black people actually guys my research tells me that 1.6 percent of the population of australia are black african people <laughs> so it is totally normal to see an interracial couple a black woman with an australian man 
or a black man with an Australian woman, <laughs> white woman. <laughs> Because exist black Australians guys <laughs> so it is totally normal when you're on online dating apps you come across an Australian guy don't worry that you're going to get strange looks or it, it is something that you can't even do in his country dating a black woman no 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 it is very very normal number one that you need to know about Australian men they are so passionate passionate guys about their sports and i've got a lot of sports guys <laughs> there is cricket football a lot so they are very very passionate when it comes to their sports so if you start chatting with an australian man on online dating apps or even in real life when he starts talking about their sports or when you see him very busy with their sports it's not that he does not like you it's not that he is ignoring you it's not that he is not interested in you not at all it's because they are so passionate about their sports and what you need to do here a tip is coming <laughs> just let him be because now you know that they are so passionate about their sports so let him be give him time to enjoy these sports <laughs> yes guys that is the only way you will get along with an Australian man because they are very very passionate when it comes to their sports number two guys when you come across an Australian man on online dating apps or even in real life you should expect this or this is how they are they like barbecue very very much it's barbecue every day anywhere <laughs> not only at home guys anywhere and their barbecues includes sausages burgers meat fish like seafood yes also these barbecues goes along with some starbies which is the slang of australian beer yes guys so if you're someone who likes barbecues <laughs> like me <laughs> i could go very very well with an australian man because i like barbecue <laughs> and here in italy they do barbecue when it is spring especially during the easter season and when it is summer or when it is fall or winter no barbecue in italy <laughs> yes but for australians it is barbecue every day anywhere number three that you need to know about australian men when you come across them on online dating apps or even in real life is that when you start chatting with this an australian man and then he gets used to you like you start dating he will be calling you my missus and even if he marries you he will continue calling you my missus <laughs> when he calls you my missus don't get surprised they use my missus a lot <laughs> to their girlfriends, their wife. It is my missus, my missus, my missus. <laughs> yeah. Number four about Australian men, they are not so good in fashion. <laughs> they are not fashionable, but they dress decently, guys. And this is because Australian men are just, you know, easygoing, laid back, they like to chill. So kind of fashion things, it's like, very exaggerated to them because <laughs> they are simple very very simple so that makes them not so fashionable <laughs> but they dress decently <laughs> number five about australian men if you come across them on online dating apps or even in real life oh my god omg <laughs> do you know what is coming they are so good in bed when it comes to take the goodies yes they are very very good so hot so passionate <laughs> yes very adventurous and they have got a very sexy beautiful accent which will drive you crazy <laughs> yes <laughs> So that is how they are. If you start dating an Australian man, get prepared. <laughs> start doing 
some exercises if you know you are very lazy in bed <laughs> so that you can go along he doesn't find you lazy because they are very very good when it comes to taking the goodies when it comes to bed matters <laughs> number six, about australian men when you come across an australian man on online dating apps you should know this they are very genuine and serious promising when it comes to a relationship so when you start chatting with a guy from australia he seems serious you know that he might be the one because they are very genuine they are very serious i've done enough research on this i've talked to different ladies who have dated even more than one australian man and the results that i got the answers that i got from those ladies is that they are serious even those who found their australian men on online dating apps they said that australian men are very very serious when it comes to a relationship yes again guys this is a disclaimer if you have met an australian man who is not serious it can happen because everywhere exists bad and good people <laughs> so maybe that man that you came across is the bad one but the majority of australian men if you come across them on online dating apps then you know that australian men are very serious and genuine about australian men when you come across them on online dating apps or even in real life you should know this and this i'm going to be talking about an australian man age starting from 25 to 35. his friends matters a lot or his friends will matter so much they are so loyal to their friends especially those friends that they grew up together they will be very very important in his life so when you start dating and maybe you get to that level of meeting or living together and you see that all the time the friends are in between <laughs> all the time he needs time to be with his friends just give him that time because friends matters a lot or maybe you might be chatting on online dating apps you haven't decided to meet yet then sometimes he tells you i'm going to be hanging out with my friends maybe watch some sports or do some sports <laughs> don't think that he is lying to you because he has been telling you that i'm going to meet my friends i'm going to be with my friends it's because friends matters very very much to an australian man they are very very loyal to their friends so for you to get along with an australian man especially that age that i told you don't start competing with his friends of course you are going to be his number one priority but his friends will always matter so much to him number eight about australian men how is it like to date an australian man or what to expect when dating an australian man if you come across him on online dating apps or even in real life you should know this due to the research that i have done australian men most of them i'm not going to say it's all but the majority that makes <laughs> australian men to be australian men <laughs> is that they are very generous yes and they know how to take care of their woman if he falls in love with you he is going to take care of you he's going to be very very generous to you there is this good friend of mine that i was talking to when i was doing the research and then she told me that she dated an australian guy and they met on a holiday she went for a holiday and this guy was there for holiday they got to know each other and then started dating so this friend of mine told me that when the holiday ended like the guy was supposed to go a day before this friend of mine and what this guy did he left his debit card to buy whatever she wanted to buy with his card and this action can only be made by a generous man so guys australian men are very generous 
and they know how to take care of their women so to add on that guys you're going to ask me but bella do australian men spoil yes he's gonna spoil you if he falls in love with you though guys every country they have their own way of how they give gifts as i told you australian men are very simple men they like simple gifts so don't be surprised if you're dating an australian man and then he gives you something very you know very simple <laughs> or cheap i might call that it's not that they are stingy not at all because when i was doing my research it's the kind of way they do things he's gonna be gifting you simple and sometimes cheap gifts <laughs> or think that this guy is very stingy <laughs> unless you put him on another taste to see if he is stingy or not <laughs> but that one of gifting my research tells me it is because they like simple life they are simple people guys about that there is a video i watched of my fellow youtuber her youtube account name is called Mercy mm she did a very nice video about australian men so i'm going to be putting that video here or here so that you can go and watch it and get some other more points more experience about dating australian men but then about australian men they are very hard working very busy they've got very busy life very engaging very active but 11 about australian men if you come across them on online dating apps or even in real life they are very straightforward people if he doesn't like something he's going to tell you if something is wrong he is still going to let you know because they are straight forward the other thing you need to know about australian men is that they are so fun to be around with an australian guy you will never get bored yes guys but 12 about australian men if you come across an australian man on online dating apps or even in real life you should expect this or you should know this when you start chatting on online dating apps or you meet him in real life and things get serious you start dating maybe get married or start living together expect that he will be helping you around the house help you to cook because they like to help their girlfriends or their wives <laughs> he's not gonna be sitting on the couch and let you do the work not at all <laughs> no 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 they like to help their partners around the house again not all but this is the majority of australian men due to the research that i have done so guys i really hope you enjoyed this video you learned a lot of things about men from poland and men from australia and i'll also keep doing these videos about men from different countries so you guys you can get that life experience have fun and learn a lot of things about men from different countries so thank you so much for watching if you have liked this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good you're going to learn a lot of things comment below what you think about this video and until next time, I love you so much once again. You're always here in my heart. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao.